All right, it's daytime. So I guess the only thing we got from there is the the bubble head. Unless I absolutely missed something, which that could be the case. But regardless, we're, we're gonna head to the replica facility. We are in the area, we might as well get this shit done. Hopefully we got enough science to uh, hack that mainframe because if not, we're pretty much fucked. <laughs> Unless we have more of that science book. Okay, I should be more careful. We have no idea if it's a Deathclaw or a Yagwai out here. It's like right under us too. I don't know what it is, but I am out of there, Sonny. I am not involved with that shit. Okay, wherever it is, it's... What the hell? Okay, it's just a canine dog. The range canine police dog. Ho! Oh! Wow, you're a fast fucker, huh, you? Sorry to miss the doggo. Might as well put out your misery. I don't know how to look like. Let's see. Yeah, they're absolutely cybernetic, right? Let's see here. A diner? Be something good in there, hopefully. Hopefully, there's no death claws walking around. I'm, always, you know me, I always like new weapons, new toys to play with. Got a big firefight going out there. Dodge Donner. Let's check what we got here. I think that might be Ten Penny Tower there. Yeah. What the hell is up with this? Why come there's no shit in this safe? There's gotta be something going on here, man. There's gotta be something going on, man. Safes are coming up empty. Like, why? Uh, that's a death claw. That's bad. Okay, this is bad. Gonna make a difference. Okay, we absolutely fucked up here. Absolutely fucked up here. Alright. This is the part where we're probably gonna die. Where the fuck did it go? Find a sentry bot, too. And whoop his ass, too. Just to show us how dangerous these things are. Okay, we're not gonna stick around. We're just getting the fuck out of here. We are not sticking around for that. Welco facility is not too far from here. Train station. Uh, don't fall to our death. I think we should be good from now. Let's switch back to uh, basic 556. You know, technically the AK not supposed to shoot 556, but to make everything easier, we're gonna stick with their 556. Okay, I got a little ha a little house here. What's left of an old neighborhood? It's a freaking mess. What? Whoa! Who the fuck took a pot shot at me? Who dares shoot at me? Somebody definitely shot at me. Nothing worthwhile here. Yeah, well, somebody definitely took a shot at me. Don't appreciate that. Get inside to this house? No. Nope. Ammo, though. You want to gauge? Ready? As a Yagwai, I'm saying the fuck away from that. Don't do it, Yagwai. Fucking do it. Come in peace. I'm not, I don't got any beef with you. But if you come at me, I'm gonna fuck you up. Let's 
They saw me. Okay. Okay, all you gotta do is come at me. Hey, we got, some, we got plenty of bottle cap mines to drop. Hey, you better run away, you little bitch. Come back for round one, round two, come on. Watch my back here. Yeah, he's not. Hey, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, gonna put a mine right here. Alright, now he's coming again. Uh, <laughs> one way to do it, let it take out the iBot. Let the iBot do the job. I don't have to waste ammo. All right. Oh, fucking, somebody is shooting at me. This, this asshole is... I'm hearing gunfires. Okay, gunfire over here. Let's check out what's going on here. Are they shooting at me? <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. They're not. Okay. Got to confuse. There's people. I think there's people practicing. That's my guess. Well, there's the old Webco facility. We'll go to that tower later. Meantime, what's up with this guy here? That's what. Like, what's Hello, going on stranger. here? I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC wasteland. Hmm. What are you selling? Various things. You never know what might come in handy. Well, you got scrap metal, so that is good on my books there, my friend. Uh, not too much more I can sell though. Yeah, before I uh, go into the Welco facilities, let me check a look at this. Really's Gorsher. Let's see what's in here. Could get some get, get some good stuff in here potentially. Whoa, rad roast to kill though. I, 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 <laughs> just boom. And then the boom. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well that's the debt with those guys. Might find something interesting here. Oh, more cigarettes. That's what I'd like to see. Alright, pre war money. Hey! Look. I don't got the, the expertise to lockpick that, sadly. Should we get everything here? Okay, uh, let's read that book so we can get some of that weight down. I think this one gives us body. Yep, it is permanent body by two. What I'm talking about. Let's see, nothing in there. That's Ten Penny Tower. We'll go there later. Right now, our priority mission is to go to the. God damn, those guys are lousy shot for the bullets to go fucking out this way. Oh yeah, we're gonna check out the Webco facility, then we'll check out Ten Penny's tower. Yeah, you guys should you actually see his ass up there too. What the fuck, what kind of sniper rifle you got there, friend? He's definitely packing some big ass sniper rifle, that's for sure. Not sure what. I think this is the part. What the hell? That slave. The hell? Alright, let's read this, shall we? There's hope. There's a safe place to find. Find the Temple of the Union where slaves are made to free men. Look to the north, near Canterbury. Yeah, I think the lady told us about that. It's actually, yeah, it's not too far from Minefield, so that's good. We can head over there. Canterbury Commons, too, is in that area as well. And we all got a whole bunch of other places here that we need to explore. All right, let's see what's in here, people. I haven't been to this place in ages, so hopefully we got the skills to get the best possible bonus objective, because we definitely want to do that. 
I think we're gonna pay the price because uh, everything here is robotic and I don't got anything I don't got anything to deal with the robots here I do got a laser uh, a laser pistol so I guess that's my only offense okay Old rats here. Oh, I mean, rat roaches. There we go. Get rid of that. I think we're gonna find a lot of scrap metal here, which is very good. But yeah, this place is good. It's packing with shit. Holy crap. Right. Might find something good here after all, people. Make sure we check everything. A lot of energy sale. Around we're going to check this bathrooms. The roach here. That's a that's a gnarly ass sound. <laughs> we sell. Get those bottles up. And more and more rats. Red X. Fine. I look back here. Find some good shit. Like, where's all the goddamn pre war books at? Oh, there's one right there. That's one. Hello, speech. Can't say no to that. Let's do that right now. Ha ha ha. Got more speech now. Alright. Got more roaches. Going at okay. Good. Some parts here. Scrap metal. Yes, we got another science book. That's good. We, that could actually save our ass. We that could actually make us hack to that mainframe system once we do find it. Because at least the book gives us like twenty, you know, twenty-five plus. Uh, points now. Got bonus perks. Man, all right, we gotta find a lot of good shit here potentially. Find more scrap metals. That would be nice. Bullets. Can't say no to that. Okay. So far, we're finding a lot of good stuff here. A lot of good shit. There's a place to stop by too to make that railway rifle. Just left that behind. Okay, so I think this is the right way we need to go. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Definitely some mole rats. Mole rats! Some more rats around. And more pre war books to get. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> this bunk. Okay, I'm not sure we're gonna find anything useful here. Our weight is getting a little bit, a little bit high, so we gotta be careful what we pick up. Oh, damn. Yeah, Wonder glue is useful though. Duct tape as well. Too bad to weigh like one pound each. Ah, big book of science. Hey, we were book though. Can't say no to that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, hey! Get out of here. Okay, I'm just gonna check the bottom floor first. Lord. Dude, this place is packed with shit. It is packed. Let's see, can we even make anything right now? Wood repair set. Not sure what useful this is gonna be, but. Man, we got a lot of shit here. Uh, we could craft some of this stuff, it's just a matter of getting the shit. Yeah, we're, we're, 
we're, we're definitely taking way too many shit, so I'm gonna have to ease down on that. Stop. Stop it. We definitely gotta ease down on taking on the stuff that we are taking right now. Pretty sure there is a rad roach up here. This is like a maze, too. God damn, son. Watch his hair. Get out of my face. This is where we gotta go. And then, uh, now, once we get to the world by so that's when we gotta whip out the energy pistol. What? Oh, wow, there's a lot of roaches. At the office of cafeteria? Get out of my face. I think we should get an, I think you need to get an employee ID so that way you don't. Okay, you know, listed as a hostile for the world boss. Wow. Ah, bleeding. Stop. Bleeding. Fix this though. Fix it with a bandage and some stim packs. What do? Uh. Around this area real quick. More roaches. Ah. Ooh, that's a lot of good bullets there. Alright. Don't hit the X button. Force locker as the whole thing will break. It looks like somebody has definitely been here, right? Like, who the heck set up this fires? Uh. A lot of roaches here. A lot of roaches, a lot of bull rats. Jesus Christ almighty. This place is infested. What the hell? Fire axe. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of place to loot here. Almost too much place to loot. Oh my lordy. Get out of here, Mr. Fucking Rad Roach. Man, a lot of shit in here, man. I don't know which way to go. Oh, we got a prototype safe here. I don't know what is in there, but it sounds fucking good. I'm not prototype safe. Ooh, password. Okay, we'll probably, <laughs> if we find out earlier, that would have been nice. Water chip prototype 461. Hey, we got a, a M19 in here, right? That's pretty cool. All right, uh, over encumbered once again. We do got a repair weapon kit, so we could use this to repair something. Uh, definitely gonna repair that. There we go. I was wondering why it was heavy. It got a damn Chinese assault rifle. Let's just keep on going. Oh yeah. This is where the magic happens. We were, but what about the economics? That's new. Yeah, maybe easy. Boom. Okay. Let's see here. What the heck is... Okay, so this book is like its own thing. Okay. Alright, so this is where the magic happens. Right, let's see. Install the processor widget. Let's do that. Okay, let's hack through this. Hopefully, we got the scales to hack it. So we don't have to use that magazine, which is good. Okay. Uh, initiate pest examination. Total of the good donation. Uh, totally removes your co-workers, human safety protocol, and it's for use in the unlikely event of criminal insurgent of communist attack. Okay, definitely get that. Okay, so obviously we don't want total liquidation that will probably kill us as well. 
Basic operation can do that. And this is test testing. Uh, Omega 4 breakdown. Army attack. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the fuck did I do? <laughs> what the hell did I do, people? Okay, let's do optimize, I guess. Okay, so we did everything, right? Everything that we can. Okay, we reprogrammed the facility. So, the mainframe, so we are good. We are our Audi. Up to see here. Yeah, I think we have to come back here. Do not attempt to flee. Hey! I'm Audi. See ya. Okay, we're good. Time to get out of here. I have a feeling we're gonna fire this Wobo here. Definitely got to shoot some of these Wobos out of the way, cause man, a lot of Wobos out here. Oh, oh. aye! Do not make any further escape attempts. Okay, at least this thing packs a punch at least. Okay, I'm just getting out of here. <laughs> not gonna stick around any longer. Warning, dangerous. Fugitive is on the loose. Nope, not today. Whoa! For your safety, okay, we got some machine gun turrets. Alright, I'm out of here. Audi, dear! I'm not gonna deal with that shit. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna check out this uh, Tim Penny Tower place here. We definitely haven't been here before. Alright, so what we got here? Got somebody at the door there. There's another guy begging for purified water. Please, help me. Please. You can tell Ten Penny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not human, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allow. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine, I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. Huh. Why what are you looking at? I'm really not in the mood. So leave me alone. Okay. Suit yourself, buddy. All right. I Can I come in? I told in? you to get the <laughs> hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps. And I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. <laughs> I love you too, sweetheart. Oh. Thought you were that damn ghoul. <laughs> well then. Back to business as usual. <laughs> Bam. You're <laughs> trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Redder is an official business only. Huh. I'm here to see Tenpenny. <laughs> That's rich. What would a man like Tenpenny want to do with a waste rat like you? Huh. Uh, I have a lucrative offer for Tenpenny. Let me in, or you'll come to regret it. Just a minute. Let's not be hasty. Yeah. If Ten Penny is right, interested in what you have to say, I suppose you should get your chance. Though he normally conducts all his business through Mr. Burke. If Ten Penny doesn't want to talk to you, then you best leave him alone. If you bother Mr. Ten Penny or any of his residents, I will be very glad to forcibly show you out. Do we understand each other? No, I don't. Good. I didn't get any say on that. Okay, at least we got it, so. Can't complain to that. And Mr. Burke, by the way, he's he's sleeping he's sleeping with the fishes now. Alright, so what's going on here? Welcome oh. to Ten whoa, Penny whoa, Tower. Whoa. 
Don't do anything stupid. Oh, what, buddy? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, buddy? You haven't heard a word. Okay. I'm not here for your entertainment. A lot of these guys are wearing like different armies. They're wearing like khaki armor vests. They're all carrying assault rifles. So these guys are armed to the teeth. Tell me about Alistair Tenpenny. He owns this building. We get our caps from him, and don't you forget it. Hmm. What can you tell me about Tenpenny? He's named after Alistair Tenpenny, who runs this building. He's got a bunch of rich guys that pay him to live in it. We're here to make sure that people like you don't mess up his deal. You don't cause any it? trouble. Well, but I do I cause trouble. Yes, dear. I swear, Edgar, it's in one ear and out the other with you. <laughs> Hello, dear. Hi. <laughs> well, it's all nice. Be. Hello, dear. Introductions are in order. <laughs> I am Mrs. Edgar Wellington. You may refer to me as Madam or My Lady Wellington. Oh, look, another stuck a bitch. How I'm pretty sure with her. Yes, I'll be nice for now. It's very nice to meet you. You're better mannered than your apparent breeding would indicate. It is nice to make your acquaintance. You Don't didn't like happen the... to catch a glimpse of any ghouls on your way Don't in. Don't like did the you? people here already. Uh, let's see. Comes down to personality. There's plenty of ghouls I'd rather be around than some humans I know. Ooh. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan. I'm not afraid of ghouls. Can't say I'm a fan. I'll be that. Perhaps you're smarter than appearances credit. Uh, hear anything interesting about the ghouls? Again with the ghouls! <laughs> it's all anyone will gossip the about. The ghouls! I can't help thinking about them. Doing things to us. Let's talk about something else. I don't want to talk about it. It's pretty sad, isn't it? Not being a set. That's interesting. It's more than just interesting. <laughs> it's positively horrible. I was like leaving in two minutes. Things haven't hour. been the same since those ghouls showed up. Has everyone on edge? I have to go now. Bye, dear. Okay. What about Edgar you? Edgar Wellington the second. Have you met my wife, Millicent? Hold on. Who let you in here? I jump over the walls when no one's. <laughs> I jump over the walls when no one's looking. How do you, how do you think I got in there, huh? I was laying the front gate, buddy. <laughs> Very well. As long as security is aware of your presence, can't be too careful these Don't days. To what with this these fucking bitch ass. and all. Gustavo says he has the situation well in order, but I wonder if he's really trying. Don't suppose you ran into any ghouls on your way in here? It's just like everyone else. I've met good and bad ones. Then you obviously don't know anything about ghouls. Okay, well, then go eat, eat my ass. There's a pack of zombies living nearby in some old tunnel. They asked to move in. Naturally, they were told to go to hell. Gustavo's hired some additional goons. Seems to be working. Still makes one a bit fidgety having those loathsome creatures around. I wouldn't even want them as slaves. Everyone what does go think of you and you shall be friends? <laughs> well, I I just remembered I have something important to do. Goodbye. Well, I don't like the people here. You guys are all Yeah, yeah. Oh, I get in for me, okay. Well ain't my fault that everybody's a bunch of ass here, so why the hell should I have any respect for these people here? Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, these guys are definitely practicing. That's a lot of training there you got there, buddy. Alright, well, I guess we can go inside, I guess. Got nothing else to do here. Can't sleep on those beds. Okay, let's save. Let's take a look in here to see if everybody's all weird assholes or not. Because everybody seems like a bunch of assholes. You know me, I don't like assholes. Certainly fancy, alright? Damn. Hey, Gustavo, you again. What? What's it like living at Tenpenny's Hour? Tenpenny is always on time with the money. And we can get fairly comfortable digs with side benefits. You got an army to play. You want to do some training? Ooh, that is nice. Yes. I guess we could do a little trading. Here's what I. What kind of guns do you got? You better have some good shit here. Uh. 
maybe disappointed to be honest, but maybe we it mix up with the weapon mods, hopefully. AK-112, combat shotgun synthetic stock. Man, he doesn't even have the freaking attachments I need, though. That's unfortunate. Okay, at least make it up with the ammo. Do you got the ammo I need? Uh, he does. Got some 556, five, but I'm good on 556 five, rounds. Could actually get some shotgun shells, actually. Okay, at least we know he traded weapons and stuff, so that's good to know. Now we can check what kind of stuff they have here to sell. A lot of people here chilling. Let's talk to the bartender Shakes here. Welcome to the Federalist Lounge. I'm Shakes. Wet your whistle. Uh, I would love to drink. I see, sir. Very well. We could be an absolute AI asshole to the robots. A drink. <laughs> Just for no reason. You know anything about the ghouls that are trying to get in here? Don't them? you worry about any such thing. Sir, care to wet your whistle? Uh, tell me about Alistair Tenpenny. He is the right lord and master of Tenpenny Tower. Sounds like a real ass. Or at least that's what my files <gasps> say. Whipping hot dogs, apologize. Uh, I'm good. Cheers. Cheers. Got some people here to talk to Michael Hawthorne and Tiffany Chang. Let's talk to Michael here. I'm Michael Hawthorne. Who are you? And more importantly, should I care? <laughs> I'm a PC name. Pleasure to meet you. Hmm. Your worst nightmare. Well, then you'll excuse me if I don't invite you to share a drink. Really, you're as much fun as a couple of ghouls. They're trying to get in here, you know. Don't suppose you've ever had to deal with ghouls before? I killed a few, yes. Really? Fantastic. You can give that Gustavo a lesson or two. I'm supposed you know much about these we haven't ghouls. haven't discussed this already? I don't like Apparently, the people here. I kind of want to side with tunnels. the ghouls. Gustavo says he has it under control. On the bright side, it's given me another reason to I want to help drink. the ghouls out because these people are just... Eh. You ever want to maybe drink too much? Look around. What else is there to do? Go out there and explore. Okay, we all accepted the ten penny sour. Okay, we we'll still get some information. So. Hey. <laughs> Tiffany Chang. My name is Tiffany Cheng. My Chins. miserable excuse for a husband is Comrade Irving Cheng, and you can tell him I said so. Wow, you put a lot with you, you put a lot with you for me, husband, don't you? Wow, obey! I don't want to do that. <laughs> do you know he tried forming a don't committee be to discuss the tell ghoul what situation. To do. A committee. He made himself chairman, of course. What we need is somebody to do something. Not just talk about it. Don't suppose you know anything about ghouls, do you? I could take a whole pack of ghouls without breaking a sweat. That's terrific. A real Feral ghouls. Man of action. Not the That's other ghouls that are normal. Need. There's a difference. You know anything about these ghouls? They're living in the nearby tunnels. They scare me. Why doesn't somebody do something? It's natural to be afraid of the unknown. Perhaps you're right. <laughs> but I prefer to keep my nightmares a fantasy and not test my luck with the real thing. I'm just Thank being you very honest. Much. I'm just being honest here. Good to see you. Got some frame. People here are a real bunch of dicks. I'm not gonna lie. Let's Those clothes going, are atrocious. You should stop by my shop, new urban apparel, and freshen up that you look. Eat my ass Upgrade about that, Anthony Lane. Fabulous. Are you, are you worried about these ghouls? They were told they can't live here, but those zombies are too stupid to understand. They live in their own filth, squatting in the nearby metro tunnel. Security keeps shooting them, but they keep coming back. I'll go tell them there's nothing here worth dying. What are you suggesting by that? I don't think I like your tone. Wow, oh my god. A little bit of good mixed with a little bit of bad. People haven't figured out yet. Can't express my opinions here in this place, I guess. I'm not here for your energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not here for your entertainment either, buddy. What the fuck was that? 
You got anything to report? The Everything's just fabulous. What the Herbert Dashwood? What the Damn hell glad are you doing, to meet buddy? You. Call me Derry. What the hell is this Everybody guy else doing? Does? Dar uh, Darren, how how do you earn that nickname? Maybe you've heard the GNR radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That's about me, you know. Based on my, um, earlier days. I even had a ghoul manservant. Let me ask you, you ever met a ghoul before? Sure, I met some ghouls. They're just people trying to get ah, by. You've already learned some wisdom in your youth. Congratulations. Okay, are you the real thing? You mentioned something about GNR. Have you ever heard the radio play? The yes, I do. Of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That guy at the radio station put it together a few years ago. Hmm. He did it in the style of those shows they had before the war. Came out pretty well. This guy might be legit. It's all we shall true. see. Rockopolis, Miss Chase, all of it. Of course, they do portray me as a bit of a chump. Argyle may have saved my hide more than once, but I had my moments. Ah, those were the days. Tell me about Argyle. That's his ghoul manservant, right? Argyle was my manservant. Yes. Ah, but that's I knew really it. just a fancy <laughs> word for the guy who saves my sorry skin on a regular occasion. He was a ghoul, you see. Been around since before the war. We met when I stole his girlfriend back in 41. We'd been best friends ever since. We got separated a long time ago and never reunited. If you find Argyle out there somewhere, you be sure and tell me, okay? Hopefully, I will. If you're already legit, then yeah, I will keep an eye out for Argyle. Hopefully he's okay too. Do you know a thing or two about those Some ghouls? Some ghouls moved into the nearby metro tunnel. There's a bunch of the so-called feral ghouls in there, but a handful seem the sociable type. I've tried explaining to my fellow tenants that not all ghouls are monsters. But they don't seem to care. The intelligent ones should stay away from our trigger-happy protectors. If there are enough feral ones, though, eh, they could overwhelm security. I'll get this ghoul thing sorted out. Aha! An adventurous soul like myself. If I wasn't retired, I might come with you myself. You got a shotgun. You could come with me. <laughs> What is it like living at Tim Henry's Well, Sally? until recently, the only danger you ever faced in this fine establishment was bumping into all the bloated egos floating around. Yeah, tell me about it. But now there's a group of ghouls nearby. I've tried explaining that they don't all want to eat you, though some do, of course. Problem is, it's hard to tell which is which. Chief Gustavo has initiated a shoot first and ask later policy. If they're smart, they'll stay away. Okay. Go get him. Okay, this guy seems legit. He's absolutely legit. I do, okay. I guess he's okay in our book. Obviously, wouldn't want to steal stuff here. I think all the shop must have closed down. Yeah, all the shop has closed down. Sadly, where the hell do I sleep? It's Ivan Chang, and then. Hello. My, okay. You're new around here. Yeah, we haven't talked to you I'm yet. Margaret Primrose. I run the Cafe Primrose. Beaumont. Stop by sometime. What's it like living here? It's a great place to live. I've always dreamed of giving people fresh meals and a place to relax and enjoy a good conversation or two. Tenpenny gave me a place to do that. I'm greatly indebted to him for that. Running a cafe can't be easy. Indeed. Everyone who lives here has worked hard to get here. That's why we can't just let those ghouls in. They demand the right to live here, but what have they done to prove themselves worthy? I think they're proving something just staying alive in that condition. I guess I never thought of it that way. Mm. It's probably really hard just living day to day like that. Mm, okay. Now I feel a little ashamed. Okay, okay. She might be legit too. She might be none of the bad ones, but we shall see. Tell me about Alice Tempe. Every day it's the same thing. The man has no imagination with his meals. But it's his building, so every day I make that damned iguano bit sandwich, no salt, with a peeled pear on the side. Send it up to the penthouse. Huh. Those girls have it stretched out too? 
Chief Gustavo assures us that he's increased the number of the security team and will kill any zombies on site. I wonder, if the, I wonder if the goose will like your cooking. I hope I don't have to find out, though. Everyone loves my cooking. I think I'll take a moment for myself and eat a little something. Don't even think of breaking into that. You need to shut your fucking mouth. Evan Chang. I am Comrade Chang. Oh, this is the guy that's the going all full communist. People, shining <laughs> servant of the community. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't like the one you ever can wouldn't be needed if people exercise common sense. A lot of people don't have any allergies out here. Thanks, comrade. I'm sure you'll agree that people are only as strong as their leader. That's why I do my best to serve the community to the fullest. Speaking of service to the community, I don't suppose you are familiar with ghouls, are you? More importantly, how to kill them? I formed a committee oh to goodness. investigate the problem. This guy. It'll take more than a committee to deal with the problem. I didn't help. Criminals up. You need to ignore them or exterminate them. Uh, don't worry about those ghouls, comrade. You need to relax. Yeah, just relax. Perhaps you're right. My wife is always going on about how crazy yeah, I make just her. Just relax. What do you do with the whole situation? I'm sure it will end in bloodshed. It's serious business, comrade. Perhaps, comrade, the ghouls will join your committee, comrade. <laughs> Are you mocking me, comrade? You damn right I am. Got some frame and infinite. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm like I'm like fifty fifty in this place. People can't really tell. Ah, hello. Fucking assholes. Okay, Anthony Ling, the piece of shit. Yeah, okay, most of these people are piece of shit except for da uh, Dar uh, Dashway. He seems like to be seems to be absolutely legit. Uh, everybody else in this place, the old lady baby too. But everybody everybody else in this place can kiss my freaking ass. Okay, is there any place I could sleep in this damn place? Probably not. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. 